Athens prepares for the beginning of Fest season this weekend. Good afternoon, I'm Mary Puzder. And I'm Thomas Garber. Mill Fest is this Saturday and we took an in-depth look at how the city is getting ready for the season's first street party. Newswatch at Noon reporter Anna Hoffman looks at what goes into preparing for the fest. Fest season is not just fun and games for those participating. The city puts in a lot of preparation behind the scenes. Although these fests are not city-sanctioned events, the people working in the government and the police force know what is going on and does their best to keep it under control. Before each fest, the city will send out a notice to residents living on that street, reminding them to be aware of where they park their cars and safety measures about their homes. Make sure you, you lock up your house and in particular protect your belongings. The city of Athens will be reaching out to partner police agencies to help control the parties. Mill Fest happening this weekend is the first out of the four fests that Ohio University has. As much fun as fest may be for students, all city officials are taking many safety precautions. The city wants festgoers to recognize that law enforcement is there to assist and not just be a buzzkill. Police are at the fest to ensure the safety for those there and the residents not participating just passing through, being that the road it is located on will remain open. Millfest is definitely a lot of fun, um, but the Athens police do a really good job of keeping everybody safe and making sure it doesn't get out of control. The mayor reminds festgoers to be safe, civil, and smart despite the party atmosphere on Mill Street and to be aware of their surroundings and know that law enforcement is there to help. That was Anna Hoffman reporting. Police usually makes dozens of arrests for things like underage drinking and public urination, and if a party becomes too much of a problem, police will shut it down. To find out how recent fests compare to past years, check out our website, wub.org.